Hello everyone, it's Keek here, which means that in the next 10 minutes, you'll be getting the most interesting news from the tech world. Today's digest includes the Robodog Spot demonstrating its effectiveness in saving people, the world's first autonomous car for drifting from China, Xiaomi showing how the SU7 cars are assembled, the longest Hyperloop test track, an individual invisibility shield from Kickstarter, a prototype aircraft with a blended wing that received permission for testing, and SpaceX launching two Falcon 9 rockets in less than four hours. All this and much more right now. Let's get started. Today's episode begins with the techno dogs of the 21st century, and topping our chart today is Boston Dynamics with their Robodog Spot, which has begun to demonstrate its effectiveness and utility in rescue and search operations. The development is already being used in the field, for example, the robot recently helped firefighters and police officers in the process of investigating debris after a major fire in Essen. Spot is equipped with a built-in arm with a gripping system for lifting and carrying objects up to 6.8 galler. The maximum payload for dragging objects is 22.67 kilos. Additionally, the robot is equipped with a speaker and microphones to maintain communication with the team during search and rescue missions, front-facing cameras, and the Spot CamSeer system for 360-degree real-time terrain surveillance, as well as high-resolution thermal images capable of operating even in smoke-filled rooms. In emergency situations, Spot can be rebooted remotely. The design of the Robodog allows it to operate in almost any terrain. This enables it to reach accident sites faster than its competitors, reducing response times for services and increasing their work efficiency. Continuing with Boston Dynamics. In Alaska, a Robodog was hired to help ensure safety at local airports. The dog-like robot from Boston Dynamics, nicknamed Aurora, will be tasked with deterring migratory birds and other animals from entering the runways. The Alaska Department of Transportation and Public Facilities announced the new employee in their social media accounts. The aim of this experiment is to prevent possible collisions of airplanes with wild animals and to increase overall safety at airports. Let's drift further. The Chinese company Geely has introduced the world's first autonomous car for drifting, a sort of DK Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift on steroids. In a video, Geely demonstrated a test car that performs fully autonomous driving and controlled drifting on snow and ice, which, according to the company, is comparable to the actions of a professional racer. Autonomous drifting is an important part of Geely's digital chassis technology with artificial intelligence. It showcases the company's capabilities in combining artificial intelligence, digital chassis, and intelligent driving systems. Geely states that the new chassis features advanced technologies that allow for aggressive driving maneuvers. This includes wide perception algorithms integrated with both software and hardware capabilities. Together, they create a full system capable of real-time vehicle state determination and prediction. Moreover, the electronic steering control precisely manages the direction of the drift with millisecond delay. The company has introduced several new consumer convenience features in its latest electric vehicle model. These include an active collision avoidance system and active braking. In addition, advanced torque vector control of the motors on the wheels provides real-time power distribution, allowing for more precise vehicle control. Geely also claims that with this technology, functions such as crab mode and a tank turn can be implemented. Geely's new digital chassis with artificial intelligence can stabilize the electric vehicle in traffic jams and skidding, helping to avoid obstacles on the road, especially in difficult conditions. It is reported that the Xingrai AI model in the car can also draw images and communicate vocally with passengers. Meanwhile, Xiaomi has published a video demonstrating the assembly process of its SU7 electric car at a new plant in Beijing. It is noteworthy that the production is carried out in partnership with the major Chinese automotive company BAIC. The short video shows almost all the key stages of the car's assembly. From what we can see, the entire process is highly automated, with human personnel merely controlling everything remotely through computer monitors. Even the transportation of parts across the factory floor is handled by unmanned robots resembling robot vacuums. The painting process looks particularly impressive, with several robotic arms, like Dr. Octavius's tentacles from the Marvel Universe, spraying paint on the body. The video concludes with various tests that the Xiaomi SU7 undergoes. Xiaomi plans to produce up to 150,000 cars a year and aims to double this figure in the future. Meanwhile, experts have already tested the top SU7 Max modification. The London-based company Invisibility Shield Co. has introduced an Invisibility Shield on Kickstarter. Actually, this is the successor to the original Invisibility Shield by the company. Invisibility Shield 2.0 is bigger, lighter, stronger, more stable, and brighter than its predecessor. Moreover, it's easier to carry around. The shield has the shape of a curved sheet of high-quality transparent polycarbonate, held upright by a frame of the same material at the back. This sheet is inserted with a series of tall and thin lenses, each running from top to bottom. When someone stands behind the device, 
device, the lenses scatter the surrounding light reflected by their body across the entire front surface of the shield. The lenses also scatter light reflected by the user's background across the entire front. Since the user is much narrower than their background, the light from their body is essentially drowned out by the light from the background. As a result, someone looking at the shield from the front sees only scattered background light, which perfectly blends with the actual background. The shield works best if the user wears light clothing and if the background is fairly uniform, your horizontal lines in the background help convey the illusion. It doesn't matter how far away the viewer is, the effect remains the same. The shield is offered in mini, full and mega shield sizes. The shield full is 99 centimeter tall and 69 centimeters wide, while the mega shield measures 183 by 122 centimeter. Mini, which can hide small objects, measures 30.5 by 20 meters. If invisibility shield 2.0 goes into production, you can get a shield full for $378, a mega shield for $883, and a mini for $6. In the Netherlands, the longest tunnel in Europe for testing Hyperloop technology has been opened. This system involves moving capsules with passengers or cargo inside low-pressure tubes, allowing for very high speeds due to reduced aerodynamic resistance. Besides high speed, its advantages include energy efficiency and reduced infrastructure costs. Estimates suggest that this mode of transport will consume 10 times less electricity than cars and airplanes. The new loop was built as part of the Hyperloop development program where the public sector collaborates with 25 private companies. Companies. Several startups and research institutes from Switzerland, the Netherlands, Poland and Spain will use the loop. Financial support for the center is provided by the province of Groningen, the Dutch government and the European Commission. Now let's take to the skies, as a prototype aircraft with a blended wing has received permission for testing. The blended wing design implies that the aircraft's wings smoothly transition into the fuselage, resulting in something between a conventional airliner and a flying wing. This design provides increased aerodynamics because practically the entire aircraft turns into a lifting surface. This means that space for cargo or passengers is freed up, which is always a boon for carriers. In addition, fuel efficiency is significantly improved. At least, the specialists at Jet Zero claim that their development will consume half as much fuel. Meanwhile, the administration has issued Jet Zero a flightworthiness certificate for a reduced model of the Pathfinder, 12.5% of the full size with a wingspan of 7 meters. Last year, the company announced collaborations with the Air Force NASA and the Federal Aviation Administration. The military is very interested in a transport modification of the aircraft with a blended wing, and for civilians, Jet Zero offers a passenger airliner. Both models are expected to begin flights in 2030, with the prototype for the Air Force scheduled for 2027. And what's a kick without space? SpaceX is advancing to new records in the number and frequency of rocket launches into space. A new record was set on March 30th. In less than four hours, two Falcon 9 rockets were launched into orbit. The attempt to make a third launch and set a record for three launches within five hours was thwarted by worsening weather conditions at the launch site. But we think you'll agree with us that this does not negate the simple fact that for SpaceX, launching rockets has become a routine event. The first stages of both launched rockets gently landed on barges in the ocean about 10 minutes after takeoff they will be reused. The return of the second rocket stage marked the 260th successful landing in seven years since the first successful return of a Falcon 9 first stage. For one of the stages, this was the 18th return, and for the other, the 12th. The record is held by two other Falcon 9 stages, which have been used 19 times each. There's no doubt that in 2024, SpaceX will set new records both in launches and in returning stages, but we're all waiting for the successful launch of the Starship spacecraft, which, with a bit of luck, might make up to nine space flights this year. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to stay updated on high-tech news. Peace to your home.